Hi Kate, here's a quick recap on the properties I've seen this week. Marguerite seems to be a pretty good contender. Does need some updates, but um, lots of character, lots of charm. The sauna I think could be really feasible to put in there. Would need to figure out how the media screening room would be done. And really excited to see the property on West 40th tomorrow on Saturday. That one looks like a good contender, although it is up there at the $9.9 .9 million mark. Any questions, just fire them over. I'll be here to, uh, to look into it. Have a good weekend. 5575 Large Street, built in 2012. Hasn't been lived in that much. Maybe missing some of the character that you're looking for. Uh, fairly cookie cutter layout for homes of this era. Here we are in the family room that comes off the kitchen, also a butler's kitchen. High-end appliances, wolf stove, Bosch dishwasher and sub-zero fridge. Got a two-car garage in the back, smaller backyard, alley access. Master bedroom is a pretty good size. However, um, only one walk-in closet that wasn't um, really all that big. Modern bathroom. And then upstairs you've got uh, Jack and Jill bathroom joining two bedrooms. And then an additional bedroom as well with a, uh, an ensuite bathroom. Downstairs is a unauthorized nanny suite. It does have hookups, so you could possibly put in your sauna down there. And this is the screening room, so it's got nice 10-foot ceilings. The home is probably the newest home on the block, so that's always concerning as an investment um, opportunity. These are your homes right next door, and then there's a lot that's going to be built pretty soon. So just a quick scroll of the neighborhood, you'll see that the homes are older. A lot of them look like rentals, probably being um, waiting to be redeveloped. Plus is you are uh, half a block from commercial and a park. 4812 Marguerite Street is a stunning street. It curves, it's got l beautiful little turns. There is no enclosed garage. As you walk in, you've got the uh, living room with some original stained glass and some original features to your right and a massive dining room to your left. The home's been lived in for decades, so it does need some updating, as you can see with the carpet. The backyard is beautifully maturely landscaped, super low maintenance, a new deck as well, and that's right off the kitchen, which has high-end appliances. So your wolf stove and sub-zero fridge and I believe Bosch dishwasher. There's also a family room, which is massive, gas fireplace, and it opens out onto the garden. The bathroom has lots of characters to the left with an iron tub and radiator heater. Up the stairs, large, large um, walk-in closet from the master, a fireplace, and this outlooks into the garden. Then you've got uh, three bedrooms and an office, as well as another bathroom upstairs. So now we'll go downstairs. It's a little bit enclosed going down and the ceiling was fairly low. So um, first we've got the utility room with all the hot water piping. This is where the realtor said you could dig and potentially do a screening room. This unauthorized suite is um, has about seven foot ceiling, so pretty low. It's got uh, a bedroom, kitchen already set and separate entry. Some privacy off the front. The home has tons of character, but it does need some work. 5660 Somerset Crescent is 7,700 square feet, so really big home. Beautiful, beautiful street and super private. Of course, there's a price tag that goes along with that. And right a corner, around the corner from that is a home that I'll be looking at tomorrow. Really excited to see this at 1631 West 40th Avenue. It is 9,900,000, so up, it's up there. This street is absolutely beautiful. It's got all the older homes of the era, all well-maintained on beautiful, large private lots, nicely treed streets with nice curves, lots of appeal, lots of character in this area. 3315 West 38th has been on the market for a long time, likely overpriced due to the fact that it's a custom built home with um, designer architects, beautiful landscaping, lots of privacy, smaller lot, but tons of character in this custom home. 3092 West 35th, uh, nice shingles, okay house, but I don't think it's the one for you guys. The street's a little bit underwhelming as well. 2399 West 35th Avenue, 
um, is the start of some beautiful trees. However, they kind of start partway through the lot, so it's a little bit odd. Also, the home has very little privacy, and it's a small lot, six bedroom, seven bath. 